Hi, look at this beautiful effect. Click on the picture, the picture expands with explanation. Click on the picture again and it goes back. Click again, you see another picture and the explanation. Click on the photo again and it's back. And the same goes with the center one as well. And this is a very interesting effect which you can create quite easily using PowerPoint Morph. Let me show you how to do it from scratch. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. You start by inserting three pictures. Go to Insert, Pictures, Stock Images. Of course, you can choose any source to get your images. Let me select the ones from business. Let me choose this one, this one, and this one. Insert, expand the thumbnails, insert three blank slides. Enter, enter, enter. Let us take the first picture, cut it, and go to the first slide. Ensure that you cut this in exact half. For that, right click, go to grid and guides, and click on guides. Now you have the central guide. Go to picture format, crop and crop it till the center guide like this. Click outside. Let us pick up another picture. Cut, paste, picture format, crop, place it to the left edge and ensure that it is cropped till exactly the halfway point. Let us select this picture, cut and then go here, paste it, crop till it covers one half of the slide. Go back to the first slide. Make sure that you have three square placeholders. So this is going to be the placeholder for our first picture. Control D, place this right in the center. Control D, and we have three picture placeholders. Right click, format background, and choose a darker background like this. Then let us go to the second slide, right click, duplicate the slide, and we are going to use this as our guide. I'm going to choose white outline and increase the transparency so I can place this over here and if I want to reduce the size I can hold the shift button down and reduce the size like this now this is the portion I want of this photo so let me select this picture format crop and I'm going to crop with this white outline as the guide and you can see it's fairly easy once you have this white outline seen in the background now I can move this out, select this, press Ctrl X. Now let us paste this picture and then make sure that it has the exact same size and dimension as the original square. Right click, send this to back and delete this. Let us add a white outline to it. Then let us do the same thing for this picture. Right click, duplicate this and then use this one, press Ctrl X and then let us use this as the guidance. So I'm going to place this over here and let us have just this much cropped. So I'm going to take this picture format, crop, and then using the white outline, I can place this over here and crop it quite nicely. And let us take this, press Ctrl X, go back to this slide here, press Ctrl V, and then make sure that it aligns with this other rectangle that we had created. Right click, send this to back, delete the square and add a white outline then do the exact same thing for the third one as well let us go here create a duplicate so we are able to retain the picture press ctrl v and place this over here you can hold the shift button down and increase the size of this square and then let us select this go to picture format crop Remove this, select this, press Ctrl X and then go back here, press Ctrl V and then place it over here. Now this is slightly bigger than our original photo. Hold the shift button down and click and drag from the corner. Now the size is perfect. Right click, send this to back and we don't need this square anymore. Select this white outline. Now let us remove all the unnecessary slides. Hold the Ctrl button, select this one and this one, hit delete. Holding the control button allows you to select non-contiguous slides and that is how we remove those. Now we have got three of these pictures and three of these expanded versions. The next step is to add labels for the names of these people. We can of course make sure that everything is aligned the way we want. Then to each of these slides, let us add a background which matches one of the colors here right inside. So let us go to format background, 
go to eyedropper tool and pick one of the colors from inside so that looks pretty nice I'm going to do the same thing for this one as well right click format background and for the fill color use the eyedropper and pick one of the colors from inside and this is a pretty decent one or if you want it lighter you can always go to pick one of the colors from here it's completely up to you then let us do the same thing right click format background and here I'm going to pick the color from somewhere around say this which is fairly dark pretty nice and the next step is to add relevant text to each of these slides and ensure that there is sufficient contrast between the font color and the slide background. Now we have three of these photos with name and the explanation slides here. Now the next step is to connect each of these photos to their respective slides. You can click on this picture, press Ctrl K. Ctrl K is the shortcut for hyperlink. Go to place in the document and I can see that this is slide 3. So let me select here. You can see that this is the slide preview. So clicking on this photo should lead to this slide. I'm quite happy with it. Let us say OK. And let us go back to that slide and click on this. Press Ctrl K. When you click on this photo, it should go back to slide 1. So select this and say OK. So we have created this forward and backward connection. Let us do the same thing for the next one. Press Ctrl K and then go to slide 4 and say OK and go back to the slide. Select this Ctrl K and go back to slide 1 and say OK. Let us do the same thing for this Ctrl K. Go to slide 2, say OK and then go back to this Ctrl K and then it leads back to slide 1. So we have done all the connections required. Now let us select all the slides. Go to transitions and say morph transition. Now we have got everything done. Now let us go to the first slide and go to slideshow. I can click on any of the photos. Let us say I want to click on Victor Chan and that expands quite nicely with the explanation. I click on the photo again and it takes it back to the original position. Click here and it expands with the explanation. Click again and it goes back to its position and do the same thing for the last one. And you can see everything works like clockwork. By the way, have you seen this video of ours called PowerPoint Morph Text Animation Trick? You can see that on a click, the country changes and the details regarding the country changes. Again, on a click, you have the change in country and the details. I will leave a link to this very interesting and useful PowerPoint Morph Trick. Right now on your screen, you can click on the link, go to that specific slide and learn this interesting technique and take your PowerPoint slides to the next level. I'll see you inside that video.